Hi, my name is Melissa Williams, and I am a business owner, entrepreneur, book author, and a motivational speaker. And I have been, I'm here today because I want to address in the violence that has been increasing and proliferating, not only in my own community, where I have recently heard of many kids at ages 20 and 23 being shot, not just shot, but murdered. And it, being a single mom, I have children that are that age, between 20 and 23. It has affected me in such a way that I felt I needed to speak out. I've listened to other um, doctors and professors speak upon the issue and many of the things I agree with, many of the things that they have said, that a lot of the violence uh, increases because of video games, violent video games. And when you're playing these video games for hours on end, not just children, adults are doing this as well, you tend to emulate things that you see. So the video games, uh, you actually want to put in to a plan or action what you see happening. And uh, violent behavior breeds more violent behavior. Uh, not just that, but it's an economic situation that has been going on. If people cannot get jobs for many reasons, they can't get jobs. And we're not just talking about adults. We're also, and when I'm speaking, I speak about children, teenagers uh, that need money or want money for things that stem from the things that they see, the marketing for new video games, for new cell phones, for new technology, for new sneakers. When you see other people that have these nice things that you want and cannot have because your family doesn't have the money or you yourself don't have the money, you begin to be, become frustrated. It is stressful. When you are a teenager and you see all your friends with the latest Jordans, the latest outfits, it's time to go back to school, and your family can't afford these things because of whatever reason, uh, you might be on assistance or your mom or someone is not working. These things become exasperating. You see other your friends who have these things and you can't have them. Uh, also, as an adult, even I, I, I listened to a video uh, from Umar Ifatunde Johnson, doctor, and he addressed the economics of the situation that, and I believe, and I I totally agree that if you can't get a job and you can't take care of your family, you're going to be stressed out. Stress leads to frustration and then it continues. Uh, you become angry. I can't take care of my family. I can't get a job because of recent incarceration or legal problems. I can't. Also, what if there are no jobs available? Uh, lack of training, lack of skills. A lot of this can be psychologically debilitating to someone. You feel maybe less than, and you start to see your family's hungry, you're hungry, you're stressed out. Uh, things, and that's where violence comes in. Violence, uh, meaning burglary, violence, uh, shooting, killing. Someone has something that you want. People have been killed and murdered over iPhones, over video games. And this stuff is happening right here in my community. I'm seeing it every day in the newspapers. My heart is broken. Today, I'm here to offer, and I have been doing this for a while, I have been working to offer a solution. My take on this is that if there is a problem, you have to counter it with a solution or an alternative. So let's say for video games, if there are violent video games and that's trending and that's what everyone else is doing, well, then we need to find something that is more interesting to uh, equally as interesting 
where people can make money and change their financial status or their condition so that they can just even eat and have a roof over their head. That's just a startup. Giving them hope. I am here to offer my solutions, which I've been doing tirelessly, trying to get, I've been writing books. I am an entrepreneur, which I said before, and I've read about programs like the CETA program, if anyone's familiar with it, uh, the Carter administration back in the late 70s and the 80s. Uh, many people may have jobs because of the CETA program where they help people get jobs working in the city or for the utility companies uh, as police officers, for the water company, for the gas company, for the city. But I'm saying that that's not enough. We have to start by teaching in the schools, uh, not just teaching people how to get jobs and be nine to fivers because everyone cannot get a job. So then what is the solution? People may have to start their own businesses, become self-employed. We need to initialize programs, training programs, apprenticeship programs, where people can work um, and work towards a goal. The goal is that you will be able to start your own business. And those of you who have come out, who have legal problems, who cannot, or you've lost a job. Um, you've been working for 12 years and been laid off. What do you do? You have a house, you have a family. There's a lot going on there. There's a lot of stress, there's a lot of pressure. And uh, once again, it goes back to violence. So I've been offering solutions. I've been writing books since 2005. I've published uh, How to Start Your Own Cleaning Services. Simple uh, $200 startups. If we train people, uh, you even have movies where people have had their own carpet cleaning business. I remember Denzel uh, did a movie. Uh, also, Ving Rhames, great movie in Baby Boy, where he had been incarcerated, I believe, for murder. When he came out, he started his own landscaping company. And, he's, and in the movie, he did well. And these things are real, and they're actually happening in our community. Um, I write how-to books. I am a person that believes that people can become self-employed. And once people start their own businesses in the community, uh, they can employ people in the community. So it starts with training uh, in the schools. I think that a lot of the kids are bored. They need apprenticeship programs. We need to teach them how and all about business and about how to make money and how to be more than a consumer. So I've written books, How to Start Your Own Barbershop. I've written another book called How to Start Your Own Landscaping Business. And it continues. I've written not only a second book on how to start your own cleaning service, and it just doesn't mean about office cleaning. It means landscaping. Uh, carpet cleaning, floor stripping and waxing, and, it, and the list continues. If we can teach uh, people that they can be more than just the nine to five employee, they can be managers, they have, they can be self-employed. I recently interviewed on my weekly television show, I have a show on cable access channel 77 that comes on every week, and it was coming on, it viewed on Thursday at 9 o'clock, but now it will be on in October on Wednesday from 8 to 8 p.m. And those of you who cannot see it because you're not from the Monmouth County area, which is where I, I'm at at this point in time, I'm in Monmouth County, you can view it on my website, which is www.b2bpn.com. And I'll put it up on, um, so you can, I'll repeat it again. Also, uh, on there, I interviewed some young, some teenagers from the Neptune High School, and they were telling me that one problem that they're having in the community, or several, too, is there's no place for them to go, like a community center, a place that has actual programs that they can get involved in and learn. And when I did come out to speak to them about what I do, I am an entrepreneur, how I talk about businesses and how I write about how they too can do the same thing. They said, one of the kids said, 
you know, I'm so thankful that you came out and I appreciate it. He said, I like to hear your stories. Um, you're actual real. You're someone that I can talk to, a mentor, someone who's actually doing it and teaching me, sharing your information with me. And also, I recently published a Kids in Biz book. This is the program that is close to my heart. It's not just for kids, it's for kids ages 7 to 17, but this can be for adults. And inside the book, it teaches you and tells you different ideas of businesses that you can start and make money. Everybody's not going to be able to get a job. And you, I guess the, the age to start working is 16. So back in the day when I was younger, I learned how to make money even at age 10, 11, 12, 13. I had my own businesses. Remember the days of lemonade stands? Well, today, our kids don't even know about this anymore, that they can make money. You can earn money if it's snowing outside by shoveling snow babysitting, child care. You can get a certification at the Red Cross for child care and babysitting. Do this after school. All this information is right here in this book. The new things that you kids like to do. There's nothing wrong with a um, recording studio, making beats. All this information I give you in the book, not just teaching you uh, telling you what to do, but how to do it, how to price your services, how to market, how to earn profits, how to make money. Make your own money. Start learning that you can do it too. You can do other things like um, if you're, you can get a lawnmower, you can paint. These are just some of the ideas. And I know that many of the generation, I'm in my 40s, um, have ideas you're thinking back you're saying yeah this is true so instead of kids not having money and feeling angry and jealous because they don't have as well as adults you can do this on your own even when you if you can't get a job I know people who sell oils I know people who sell t-shirts video games they design their own t-shirts there are people out here you guys are talented I know a young kid who said also from the same group, and I had to mention this before I finish. He says to me, Melissa, I, um, I know how to get to hack the video games. Instead of me thinking that in a negative way, what he said, I was thinking about that. He said, I can beat any video game. I can hack into it. I can even upload a virus. So my brain starts thinking about Bill Gates and how he got started and his story. His story was the same issue. The government heard about different teenagers and college students, as a matter of fact he was in college, that were able to hack into mainframe programs. If you are this intelligent and this smart, instead of using these, th this, this negativity and these bad things to do, you know, negative things. Let's turn this into a positive. These kids that say that they are so smart, they can learn how to teach others uh, how to use the computer. They can be computer techs. We can turn this around. They can even make their own video games and software programs. They can do, they can even come up with virus protection. So when you hear a kid that says that, instead of thinking, well, you know, don't do this, teach him or her how he can turn this around. And so the reason why I'm here to talk about today, just in case I didn't make myself clear, I'm here because I wanted to offer my solution to the violence and the economic crisis that is part of the problem. My issue is training programs in the schools, offering alternative programs that have already started and implemented using the books that I have. I have programs um, that I've set up. We need to have more training workshops and also to teach these teach people that those who cannot get a job or who have been laid off, who can't work for various reasons, that there are other opportunities and options afforded to them. These alternatives are to be self-employed. 
we can train you to open your own carpet cleaning business lucrative it doesn't cost money it doesn't cost excuse me it doesn't cost a lot of money I should say if you have a talent in any way or if you don't you can be trained to do these things people in your own neighborhoods we open up barber shops but we also have to these people need supportive services they need an incubator which is what I provide an incubator um, to keep you going to teach you how to market to teach you how to manage to teach you how to make profits clearly and how to save and to spend your money wisely and and on things that you need so the issue is once you can take care of your immediate needs your immediate needs are what housing food shelter taking care of your family then you can start moving up to the next level you can start saving money you can start investing but that's later on down the line you can start buying the car that you the car of your dreams you can now buy a house you can go on a vacation you can go to basketball games. You can go and enjoy your life. But if there are no alternatives out here and people don't are unaware of them, then how is anything going to change? I would like to offer up myself and my program, which I've been fighting for. Two programs. One, the Kids in Biz is a program that can be a community program teaching kids 7 to 17 how to make and start their own businesses making various products their own products learning how to market how to price how to use a cash register point of sales how to count money these are the things that I would like to bring into the school system if I can't get it into the school system then my alternative would be to have my own after school and summer program also I'd like to have an apprenticeship program in the area where we have business owners and entrepreneurs that are teaching these programs. They're down on the ground. They know they have businesses. They've owned them. Uh, there's even veterans that can even kick in and help. Looking for money. We're looking, I'm looking to make this a worldwide initiative. My name is Melissa Williams, and you can learn more about the Kids in Biz program by going to my website, Kids in Biz, that's K I D S in Biz One.org. Um, kids in Biz, this is my Kids in Biz book, and also a program that I did initiate in 2009, and I would like, and I'm trying to raise money to get this to be an ongoing initiative in communities. Also, I have a business incubator called BBPN, Business to Business Professional Networking. The website is www.b2bpn.com. This is where you will see all my books that I have authored. They are all on how to start your own business. I have written over five, six books, and I continue. I have also put together programs, training programs that I have initiated. You can see this all on the website. You can also watch my weekly television show. You can also be a part of the show by filling out the contact form on the website. You can email me at Ms. Williams, M-I-Z-Z-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-Z at AOL.com. Thank you. Oh, you can also find me on Facebook. Melissa Williams, M-E-L-I-S-S-A-W-I-L-L-I-A-M-S, -S -S -S, as well as on Twitter at BBPN. Thank you.